This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This article here is about how Tessa Thompson defends the movie Cuties, which is coming out on Netflix, and people are saying, which appears to be very true, that it is sexualizing 11-year-old girls. It's getting some incredible backlash. The YouTube trailer for the movie has almost 600,000 dislikes right now, and it is just getting completely trashed. So who in the world would defend this thing? Well, meet Tessa Thompson. You might know her from Men in Black, or she's been in a few Marvel movies, so she's a pretty big actress. This article here is called, Tessa Thompson defends French movie cuties over controversial Netflix backlash. It's a beautiful film. So let's see what she has to say. Tessa Thompson has defended French movie cuties following backlash it received over its recent release on Netflix, and let's not make a mistake, it got some historical backlash. Not just a little backlash here and there. This was historic backlash. The streaming platform was accused of sexualizing girls following its decision to release the film originally titled A French Name, which I'll try, which I won't try, A French Name, in French, that follows an 11-year-old girl who is caught between traditional values and internet culture after she joins a group of dancers named the Cuties. It centers on Amy, played by Faitha Yusuf, who is a young girl who is being raised in a Muslim household and the film directed by... Wow, that's a French name. I really am not going to try this French because I know I'm going to make a mistake. So, let's just say... Ducora, maybe that's right, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival this year. But following news of its release on Netflix next month, the movie is now being dragged online and a petition has garnered more than 20,000 signatures, make that more than 200,000 signatures in two days. The petition now is on well over 200,000 in two days. They wrote this article, I think, like 48 hours ago. It was on 20,000. You guys wrote too soon. Okay, so let's see what she tweeted out. And by the way, these French words, I am not trying them because there is a 99.9999999 chance that I'll make a mistake. Cuties is a beautiful film. It gutted me at the Sundance Film Festival. It introduces a fresh voice at the helm. She's a French black woman mining her experiences. The film comments on the hypersexualization of pre-adolescent girls. Disappointed to see the current discourse. And they mention here that she's also from The Avengers, which was the Marvel movie I was thinking about. So, oh man, here's the thing, like, you know, this director is a woman, and we want to see more good female directors, and I think it could be that Tessa Thompson is defending her because she's a woman and giving her a huge pass on what's going on in the film. Now, let me say the French film was marketed differently than the American film, from what I understand. The Americanized poster has, you know, those tidy tights and the really disturbing look, but the French one, I think, was a lot more tame. Right here, you could see they changed the poster. Now, this poster here isn't great. I mean, they've still got, like, bras and panties and, and things like that, and, you know, it's very different from, like I said, the tight clothes, but it's a little bit different in feel. She added, Netflix didn't make this film, you all. Tessa followed up her tweet with another that read, Disappointed to see how it was positioned in terms of marketing. I understand the response of everybody, but it doesn't speak to the film I saw. Netflix has since apologized for the artwork used for the film and released a statement that read, We're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used for Cuties. Now, it should be pointed out that they didn't apologize for the sexualizing underage girls. They apologized for the artwork, very vaguely. So even that apology got a lot of criticism, which it deserves. And a lot of times you'll see people who do something wrong apologize, but they'll apologize for the wrong thing. Or they'll do like two or three things wrong, but they'll apologize for not the worst of the things they did wrong. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below. Tessa Thompson said something really odd. I can't, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember it. But, you know, in defending one of these feminist movies, she said something against men, something to that extent. So I'm not a big fan of hers. And this doesn't really help me 
meet her in the middle or like her anymore. So Tessa Thompson, pretty skeptical of how she is. Anyway, I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. I'm gonna give a shout out to Natalie Smith. I see her all the time. Thank you very much. Also, a shout out to R. Christie. I see you here all the time. Thank you. And also, Rob G. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing pop culture, depth first heard, Hollywood stuff, a little bit more these days. If you subscribe, you'll get videos, some nice photoshops, some mistakes. If you don't subscribe, well, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.